is Christiana welcome again to Flourish China how are you guys doing nice weather where you guys are living I hope you are blessed thank you so much for your for listening to the word of God that we share through this channel I just want to say every time you play this channel always try to listen to the video to the end yeah there are some points maybe you may skip but just try that's why i try to make the video very short so that we don't take so much of your time but we're going to share a message this evening i just have this message so i want to really share it with you and i so we can i hope you have your bible there have your bible please friends brother sister subscribe to flourish china comments in this message we're going to discuss always comment in every message the word of encouragement what you want me to improve myself please help me i need you to help me with that too and i want you to share it to your friends like the video they are very important and if you want to join us for our our meet day is on facebook messenger every thursday from eight o'clock to nine is our bible study and the other week we have a prayer meeting taking place from eight to seven eight o'clock but maximum eight thirty it's just time for prayer you know make tremendous power available dynamic in the ability the word of god is free and it's working mightily but we have to get ourselves prepared for it too hallelujah how are you how are you guys doing i ask again i don't know i'm asking again how are you doing i god bless you so much for your time and uh, we just go go straight to the message of today jesus see jesus in everything in this world in everything you're going through focus your attention of G in jesus i will only share this three point i'm not going to share the three point in in one of the meetings i was privileged to be in the meeting so i want to share with you but we're still gonna go out <laughs> hallelujah i hope you hear my voice and I, I don't know what it is but you cannot stop me for you what i'm gonna do for god one point is if you are born again you need to accept jesus all oh, about jesus and what he died for accept it all don't say i accept this i don't accept that no this i believe and that i don't believe no that is not christianity when you believe in jesus christ you accept everything he's dead he's buried even when he was alive when he's is 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 dead is when he's living and uh, when he when he when he died when he raised up you have to accept everything about christ you don't say i accept this i don't accept that what kind of person does that make you and number two we need to enjoy all oh, he did even though he died i know there's still joy there's still glory in all that christ did enjoy that glory all that christ did all that he live it live in it work in it you have to live in it work in it and just do everything in in it and work in the grace of, of god that he has given to us and number two see jesus and number three i mean see jesus that's why we're going to open our bible quickly to read two scriptures and number one scripture we're going to read is in the book of hebrew hebrew chapter 12. hallelujah verse 2 says look unto jesus the author and the finisher of our faith i'm reading my bible don't say what is she doing i'm reading my is my rhapsody of reality bible it's a looking unto jesus the water and finish of our faith who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross despising the shame and it said that at the right hand of the throne of god despise all the shame it is but we should look unto jesus that's what is encouraging us of looking unto jesus the altar and the finish of our faith. Oh, hallelujah. Look unto him. No matter how, let him be your number one priority. As a Christian, let looking unto Christ be your number one priority. Focus. You know, when you focus your, your mind, your whole for Christ, your life will not remain the same. That is just the truth. Things will still come. 
But when your geese, your guys, your hair is his focus on Christ, you win it all. You just see yourself coming out of it. And then you look back on it and you wonder, how did you do it? Yeah, because of your consistent in Christ. And the number two verse we give a story is in the book of same Hebrew, Hebrew chapter two. Hallelujah. Verse five. You see, for unto the angel has he not put in subjection the world to come, yet to we speak. But one in a certain place testifies, saying, What is man? What is man? That thou had made food of him. He's talking about Christ, Jesus. Or the Son of Man, that thou visited him. The might, Maesters him, a little lower than an angel, that crowned him with glory and honor. This is Christ. He, he's talking about Christ. He crowned him with glory and honor. And divided set him, set him over the work of their hands. The work of God, the work in her, the work God has, is how He has given everything to Christ Jesus. You see why I say we should put our eyes on Jesus, because that is where everything you need. Believe you me, I'm telling myself every day, everything, Chris, Chris, everything you need, everything you want for the kingdom of God to 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 spread around in the world, you want the self to excel, I want the church to go. Everything is in Christ. That's, that's why I've come to realize I'm focusing my gaze on him. Focus my eyes on him. And reaching out to the world, do everything. I focus on the more I focus on him, the more he's, he's showing me things to do. And that's why I'm doing this. Hallelujah. He said, I have put all things in his subjection, verse 8, under his feet. For he, for he, for, for in him he put all in suggestion under his feet. He left nothing that is not put under him. Nothing. He said he left nothing. He left nothing. But now, we see not ye all things under his feet. Have you not see everything? That's what I'm telling you. He said, but we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angel for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor. And by him, and he, by the grace of God, should taste death. It is by the grace of God he even tasted death. He's not supposed to, but by God, God just said, just die for them. So, I'm here to encourage you and I, my brothers and sisters, whatever it is, no matter how bad it is, no matter how that marriage is tough, no matter how that job looks so bad, you want to run. No matter how the children are making trouble, no matter whatever it is, whatever the calamity, whatever it is, is the document, whatever it is, focus your eyes on Jesus and the rest. And whatever you think you're going through, you just see them work for your good. Your eyes on Jesus. And that is what I want to share with you today. Focus your eyes. Focus on Jesus. What you see, see Jesus. In everything, see Jesus. Let not to distract you. And God bless you so much for this time that you spend hearing this message. So whatever you are, I pray that your eyes, your mind, your heart will be focused for Christ. That nothing will separate you for the love of Christ. That you see yourself going from glory to glory, from forward to upward, in the mighty name of Jesus. And I bless you all for your time and commitment to planning this channel. As you begin to listen more, your life will now remain the same. And your testimony will be shared abroad to encourage many around you. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so much for your time. God bless you. Have a wonderful day, week, wherever you are. And remain blessed. Subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed the video. Like the video. Share the video. Please comment. I want to see comment. I just want to hear your comment. And say something. What you think about it. Share your a light about it, what you see. Thank you so much. Have a blessed time. Bye.